Okay, and we're than the back. Others, that, aren't that you? Was easier than I thought it would be. Okay. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Well, I like Slytherin. What do you think, Slytherin or Ravenclaw? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I like Slytherin. Evil. Deadly. Kill. 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 <laughs> um. I don't know. I I'm thinking this or Ravenclaw. Oh, okay. So you can't choose your own house. All right. Um, I don't know. Whoa. I think. I think I'm gonna go with Ravenclaw. Oh no, I really want to be evil. I could be evil in either, I think. I'm gonna go with Ravenclaw with Ravana. Mind. Quick to learn. Yep, Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw! Ravenclaw. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Ooh, 
lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well, that was a weird way to put that, but now, okay, I, I can see how I would translate to that. You have a big day Essentially what that riddle tomorrow. said was that a, a ghost was never alive, because cross. a ghost has no, Thank no you, beginning Professor and no Weezy. end. You're welcome. Be, I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. So they don't live. They exist. This is the uh, metaphysical way to put it. Weird way to answer that question. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Is there a way to, like, search? Oh, no, that's running. Avelia. moment I suppose some introductions are in order one moment what's this Ugh. what is this Could someone threw a dumb box <laughs> <laughs> let's get out of here that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted oh well what did you hope would happen I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here, ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Interesting. Oh, there is the Grey Lady, right? Is that who that is? Can I talk to her? That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how that... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. I can't say I Armenian. recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. looks Armenian. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the Sounds stars. Sounds Armenian. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Oh, 
Stones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wyvernwild potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. <coughs> Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan World. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Huh. Har har. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages Garlic. it. Wow. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Hey there. New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for just outside. Revelio. Oh, waiting. Ooh, what's that? <sighs> That looks like a flu powder thing. Morning. I trust you're ready she's for your first day at Hogwarts. She's not the headmaster of Ravenclaw. She's, I've been dreaming she's of the freaking um. A long time. That's a Weasley. Here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. Weasley's a Gryffindor. You only door. have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, look at that. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. <coughs> you would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Cool. Thank you, Professor, but oh, what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. 
This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Ravenia. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh, okay. So that's like you get um, some appearance wards and stuff. Oh, so you can customize wands. That's cool. Gloves. What are these? Those are some actually nice gloves. Eyewear. Huh, apparently you can unequip your outfit. Check that out. What does she look like without clothes? Oh, wow, that's, that's definitely, you know, 18th century. No panties and bras here, just freaking. Apparently the left. No, I'll play with an Xbox 360. Or, uh, no I'm time sorry. to waste. Xbox you have classes to attend. 
or uh, One X or X or whatever the fuck that thing is. The new Xbox. This is actually on PC. Ooh, what's this? Oh shit, okay. Spider and a snake. back to that then. <laughs> ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Select this. Oh, okay. So you can fast travel around the castle. This thing must be massive to do that. That's kind of cool, though. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense, Defense Against, against the, Dark the Dark Arts, Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. 
You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Ah. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom well, after like you've attended both me. classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. <coughs> it's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. which summons things to you. Levioso, which allows you to... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's go with this one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, <coughs> including your own wand. 
You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out How when the I hell have old is Ollivander? About our mysterious uh, rocket. Ah, his father. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Near me. Oh, shut up. I was trying to kill you. It didn't work. Okay, how did it how did it say? Oh, there we go. Okay. Revelio. What are you up to now? Those look like chests. Oh, that's what's behind that door. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough. Ooh, I see glowing. I saw those glow. That's something to do with my special ability, but how do I access that? Oh well, can't do it yet. Okay. Something to figure out later, I guess. How inconvenient Something travel was before there. I invented flu powder. Oh, that's the flu powder inventor. Ignatia Wilds. Oh, okay. That was the, the actual thing that was fucking talking to me. He's in here. Revenia. Okay, so this is like a courtyard, and there's classes here that go different places. All right, what is this? Rebellion. Can I talk to any of you? No. Off on another adventure, are we? You damn skippy! Oh, there it is. Uh, 
That young'un's now a teacher herself. Wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Never forget what that Hufflepuff girl said in 1421. Oh, this holy what shit, this thing is talking stone. to me. Oh, that's class, that is. That's cool. So, like, the paintings and shit will actually talk to you. That's interesting. Revenia. What's this? I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing that's something for later. Okay. <clears throat> so much in this game to find out. That's pretty cool. So much weird <laughs> shit. His eyes are watching me. I don't like that. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Begin my class. Is that all you've got? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. something a little larger. That's a badass old woman. Holy shit, she just fucking blink shit around. Let us begin with the basic cost. dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember? Good. Now, well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts weapon. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso oh. 
basic cost. And Protego, you may begin. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick lad. If only all of us do this for this day. I do join you. Oh, it knocks you off the table. It means I win. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Dark and terrible things. From great. My students. Yes. They are capable of achieving great. it, <laughs> and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. Should have named her Morgana. The dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, <laughs> is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Excellent. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Classes. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Okay. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. I want to know about that Slithered boy, because I want to learn the oh, dark arts. I'm not much for dueling. Nice work. Okay. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. <laughs> Hello. I enjoyed that. <laughs> well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again... Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Oh, Till yeah, next time. little boy. I am interested. <laughs> Professor Hackett isn't in Revelio. Go see. Uh, Handy resource oh. indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Supposedly, I leveled up. I don't have a clue what that means yet. Oh, fatty. What is this? 
These things, they appear. I don't know what these do, though. Interesting. There's a flute powder. Take that. There is something else around here, apparently. Revelio. Someone's doing some unsanctioned experiments. Oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Okay, I can move spells around. That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, so this is how you move spells around. I don't even know how I fucking did that. Oh, that's the left D or right D pad. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Protego. Stupefy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I can move these around. Alright. Um I want that to go there. Um, can I, can I change those around? I don't know. Not yet. Okay. That's you cool. can't imagine how oh. inconvenient travel was before I invented flu The powder. men's room. Oh look, a secret chest. Well, I need the invisible spell, I think, to get that from what I saw in the reviews. Professor Fig's classroom. I don't need to go there yet. Rebellion. Going up, 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 up. Let's see what we got. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Nice to see you, my young friend. Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of There's a cat. Another cat. These things seem to be everywhere. Rebellion. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's Peeves a flag. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all... I think that's the way to divination. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't... <clears throat> okay, well, let's go in here and see what this is. Begin the class. Let's see what we got. Charms class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. There is an open seat here. Oh, Hello. It's a girl. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. 
Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. Why but don't I have a book? I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Interesting. Alright, and we will end that there while this is in the cutscene, and then we will be back in a minute.